Craig Grissom, it was here almost a year and a half ago that Matthew Thayer Graves was shot and killed inside a Carl's Jr. bathroom. Although the family's attorney says the civil suit is now settled, they say no dollar amount can bring Matthew Graves back. $4.5 million. That's how much the Eagle Points insurance company has agreed to pay the family of Matthew Thayer Graves, who was shot and killed by police in September of 2018. The Graves family said Matthew had a history of mental illness. What are you doing, dude? This body camera footage captures Graves' final moments after a struggle inside a Carl's Jr. bathroom with police. Get on the ground. Officer Daniel Cardina saw what he thought was a weapon when Officer Clarence Davis shouted gun. It was in fact one of the officer's tasers. Officer Cardenas has already heard gun, is it a gun, gun, and Officer Cardenas is now unholstering his firearm. A grand jury found the officer acted lawfully. The Graves family soon filed a civil suit against the city, the police department, and Officer Cardenas. They argued Matthew Graves' Fourth Amendment protection against unlawful searches and seizures was violated. The family's attorney, David Linthorst, wasn't available to comment on the case today, but he had previously told us that the situation wasn't just tragic. It should have been avoided entirely. There's plenty in there that um, I think shows that uh, at every opportunity to de-escalate, uh, the situation was actually escalated. According to a statement released by the law office Tuesday, the Graves family hopes the settlement helps police officers become better trained in how to interact with the mentally ill and know how to use de-escalation techniques. Jackson County District Attorney Beth Heckert says some jurors were troubled by how similar the Eagle Point Police Department's tasers were to their firearms. The family's attorney told us today that the Eagle Point Police Department has since changed the color of their tasers to something more bright and identifiable. We also reached out to the Eagle Point Police Department as well as the city's attorney and have yet to hear anything back. Live in Eagle Point, Amanda Rose, NBC5 News.